Ron Ignatius believes in the power of light. In fact, his company's slogan is, improving the quality of life through the power of light. The company, Quantum Devices Incorporated, is located in Barneveld, Wisconsin. It should be no surprise that the company's core technology is, well, light. In the early 1990s, NASA was looking for a way to grow plants in space to provide an oxygen and food source for astronauts. Standard white light systems generate too much thermal energy for space requirements, but plant scientists thought you needed white light to grow plants. Ignatius and Quantum Devices were about to prove them wrong. The firm had been working with another company on a device that uses light-emitting diodes, or LED, light sources. Ignatius discovered that the wavelength required for plants was the same as the one in his LED device, and he posed this idea to the NASA researchers. Thirty-some people were laughing because uh, uh, it just couldn't be done. You know, the, the dogma was you needed white light and you needed a lot of energy and it had to be equivalent to the sun. And one of those researchers, though, thought it might just work. With a Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, contract from Marshall Space Flight Center, Quantum Devices developed a technology that enabled plants to grow in space on at least seven different NASA missions. Quantum's work with LEDs and NASA plants generated interest elsewhere. That started to turn on the people who were working with a new cancer oncology called photodynamic therapy, because they had a need for a very high intensity light source to turn on their drug. Working with a Canadian company, Quantum developed a special probe that could do just that called Spectralife. Enter Dr. Harry Whalen from the Medical College of Wisconsin. Dr. Whalen was doing cancer research on animals using photosensitive drug therapies. Since the LEDs stimulated plant growth, Ignatius thought they could also be used for human therapy and contacted Whalen. Quantum built an experimental probe, which Whalen used successfully. And that led to something else. Because of the treatments they receive, many of Whalen's patients develop a condition called mucositis. Mucous membranes of the body, especially in the mouth, break down, making it difficult and at times impossible to eat or drink. Quantum and Whalen moved the light technology into a new direction and developed a device to treat mucositis. By daily exposing patients to brief doses of the light therapy, they can now prevent the mucositis from ever starting. Quantum received SBIR funding from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, for yet another biomedical application from the original device developed for NASA. DARPA wanted a simple device that troops could use to self-heal wounds while in the field. The people at DARPA saw what Harry was doing with the mucositis and thought if, if this was indeed a healing effect that they were seeing, that we should try and apply this to this condition in the laser eye injury. The firm took their technology yet a step further and created Warp 10, a battery-operated handheld device. Currently, the units are being tested by a small group of special operations forces in the Middle East. Quantum's technology has had an interesting development path, actually evolving as it develops. The firm continues to work with NASA, Dr. Whelan, and DARPA on clinical applications. They also manufacture products for agricultural applications. We just focused on what we do best at Pushkin, and um, I think we've done a pretty good job of it. Helping to solve energy problems is now on his radar. Yes, Ron Ignatius believes in the power of life and will continue to push its limits.